Hey guys, hope everyone's having a good day so far. Today we're going to do a easy, fun little project on the pickup here. And really, you could do this on any vehicle. What we're going to do here is our bow tie in the front. It's probably a good idea to get before and after pictures. What we're going to do is we're going to black this out. And how we're actually going to do it is using Plasti Dip. And the reason I went with Plasti Dip is because it's uh, cheap. The can was six bucks at Walmart, so you know nothing much at all. And if you want to, you can even just peel it off. It comes off real easy. So there's just a few steps that we got to do in order to prep this and get it ready for a few coats of the Plasti Dip. Uh, the Plasti Dip just sprays right on, so it should be super easy, but we'll walk through this together. Uh, so that way you guys can see how it's done. So the first thing we're going to do is it's a nice rainy day, and this could probably be cleaned up anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take me a microfiber cloth, and I've got just some rubbing alcohol like you could also pick up at Walmart. I'm going to clean that off. And the second step, and you don't necessarily have to do this. I mean, it's just going to make cleanup easier, is I've got some masking tape to kind of mask off around our bow tie or emblem. You, like I say, you could do this with any vehicle. It doesn't matter. And I've also got some newspaper. That way we can prevent overspray. So first things first, let's use our rubbing alcohol. All right, so I've got our rubbing alcohol on our cloth here, microfiber. Don't scratch anything, right? I'm just gonna kind of polish this up, get rid of any marks there might be, especially with, uh, with bugs flying into your grill and everything. So we just wanna polish this up real good. And I'm using rubbing alcohol because I think that the Plasti Dip is probably gonna stick better. So let's just go ahead and take a dry side, wipe this off. And now we're ready to prep for some masking. Okay, so our surface is now prepped. And as you can see, I just took the newspaper and ran around the bow tie with masking tape and taped off with the newspaper. Just make sure you got decent coverage on each side. That way you don't have much to clean up, if any, and no overspray. Now, one thing you might take note of here is if you notice, I've left it with the groove right here. Hopefully the camera will pick that up. But you can see you can fit your fingernail in here. You want to leave that groove in there. That way the Plasti Dip has something to peel off of and that way it won't peel off your emblem. So we've got the emblem cleaned up and we've got the masking tape around it in our newspaper. So we should be ready to paint now. So I'm going to take our can of Plasti Dip here. I just got the regular black. You see it's a rubberized coating here. Uh, I didn't go ahead and get the, uh, the Glossifier, basically kind of like a clear coat. We'll see how this turns out. If I want it more glossy, I may go back and get a clear coat but the same steps apply to that. Just mask it off and apply your clear coat over your emblem as well. So I think we're gonna do three coats to start off with, see how it looks once we get there, and then we may do a fourth coat depending on if it needs it or not. But we're just gonna do real light coats on it, so let me pop the cap off here. We'll get started. So I got the cap off, I'm gonna shake it up real good. This first coat needs to be a very, very light coat. If you've ever painted a spray paint before, pretty much the same process goes with this. I'm gonna to try to do this with my right hand since I'm right-handed. We're just gonna start here, give it a very light coat. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry for about 15 minutes and then we'll hit it with another one. So we're ready for our second coat now, so I'm just gonna hit it again. And one thing I probably should have mentioned is to make sure to get it kind of from the top and the sides too. You might hit that with a little bit of spray. That way you get everything nice and even. Okay, then we're gonna let that one dry. So it's starting to look better with that second coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a third coat. One thing that I am noticing here is, and I don't know if it's just because I'm not a great painter or if it's gonna get better with the coats, but you can see kind of up here, I need to probably get a little more, but hopefully it shows up on camera. It almost looks kind of like an orange peel or something, but we'll see how that gets with more coats here. I might take this one a little bit slower, a little bit heavier.
Okay, so there is three coats. We'll let this dry and see how it looks and see if we need to do okay, another. Okay, overall things are starting to look quite a bit better. It's still got a little bit of orange peel effect. But overall, it looks pretty good, especially even better from a distance anyway. So I'm going to do, I think, just one more light coat on here. Then we're going to let it dry, and then we'll start peeling it off and see how that goes. So let's go ahead and put that last coat on real quick. Okay, so now I'm just going to let that dry and we'll see how it looks. So I've got the last coat on and what I think I'm going to do is set my phone and my tripod here so I can record and taking it off and have both hands free to do this. But here's what the final product looks like. Still got orange peel on it, but I'm okay with that. That's all right. Uh, this is my first time using the Plasti Dip, so overall I'm pretty happy with it. And from a distance you really don't even notice. So let me set this in the tripod and we'll get started peeling this off. All right, here we go. We'll see how it looks. So I'm just gonna start from this side over here. What you're gonna see is when you start peeling it, it kind of gums up and peels off. So I'm just gonna take it nice and slow, peel all around the edge. One part off. And that's where that little groove that we ran the masking tape around comes in really handy. So what it does is it actually kind of cuts it off in there. Final piece off here. Okay, so here's our finished product. But what I do want to show you guys here is where there is just a little bit more cleanup that we need to do. You can see right in here where we've kind of got some overspray down in here. So what I'd recommend is just trying to peel this up, maybe with your finger, or what would really probably work good is to get a toothpick and get down in here kind of clean this up but I won't bore you guys with that but yeah if you can get that cleaned up without peeling your emblem should look pretty good so let me step back here give you guys a look here so that's what our finished product looks like not bad at all and I mean the cost was very very minimal I mean the can of Plasti Dip was six bucks and I had the masking tape and rubbing alcohol sitting around here newspapers pretty much free uh, masking tape if you did have to pick it up. I mean you could do this project for under 10 bucks easy and I still have a ton left over so if you want to do more emblems you could do your friends uh, split a can with them whatever you know. Uh, overall pretty impressed though and if you decide you don't like it or maybe you screwed up and want to try to do it again you should just be able to kind of take this and peel it off and it'll come right off. Now we did overall a pretty good job of masking the area off so we didn't have any overspray but if you did have overspray, literally just take like a microfiber cloth and just kind of wipe it hard and it'll come off. You can see there's a little bit there, but you can see just with a little wipe, it comes right off. All right, so overall pretty happy. Like I say, first time I've ever done this, so I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments or if you know of a way to keep it from looking orange peel like that, leave it in the comment below. I'm interested in that. I'm gonna guess it might have helped if I did even lighter coats and maybe a little bit more dry time in between. I only did 15 minutes. I think the can said to let it go 30, but it seemed dry in between those 15 minutes. But either way, thanks for watching guys.